Hey guys, welcome back, and I have got a cute little Walmart haul for you guys today. It's definitely not one of my uh, bigger hauls, but I did want to share it with you guys before um, I ended up waiting weeks and weeks to make a massive haul that I can like barely even fit into 15 minutes. Um, so yeah, I still got that broken nail, so I'm doing the glove thing again today, but uh, I swear I'm going to find the time to fix it, like any day now. So, anyway, I will show you what I got at Walmart. And I actually did get a lot more than this at Walmart, but um, I am saving that for my Mad About Mint haul. So, you guys will just have to wait and stay tuned for that. I um, still want to get a few more things to throw into that haul before I show it off. But, um, anyway, I will show you what I got from Walmart, and hopefully these uh, satin gloves don't screw me up. And hopefully you like my bracelet. I actually, this is what I wore on my wedding day. And yes, it did that to my glove. But um, anyway, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this sheet of sticky bling. And I'm pretty sure that this is actually all one piece. Whereas most of the ones I have are like the ones that come in rows. I do have a few like this though. And then you can cut them whatever shape you want. But um, I'm probably going to leave it like this. And like I was thinking it would like even look awesome. Stuck right down there. Just a tiny bit of bling hidden. And um, but there's a few other places I could see putting it as well. So I got that. And then I also found this paper pad. And you guys, like am I just an idiot or what? I did not know that they sold paper pads at Walmart. So $6.00 versus twenty nine dollars at Michael's six dollars versus twenty nine dollars um yeah I think we're gonna choose the six dollars so anyway it has got all these adorable prints in it so of course this glove is not gonna be good for this but it's got that one I love this one I absolutely adore that one it is so cute look at that one with the lavender and of course the teal and the turquoise so then it's got um so then it's got the black with like the leaves or vines or whatever oh don't tell me i'm gonna have to do another foot foot move over here so then we've got the letters and they're in that same color um color theme which i absolutely adore and then this page which i absolutely love we've got some strips here and I just love them all. And then it also has a bunch of... I really should open this, you guys. I'm really sorry about that. <sighs> no, I'm not going to be able to do that with one hand. Okay, so... Um, it's got Dream Family. It's got a whole bunch of... It's got this. Lots of floral. Lots of floral in this one. And then also lots of mint. It's got this one. Yeah, so we went and did that one already. There's another tag one that is so nice. So then it's got a mint sheet. It's also got a plain lilac sheet. And this one. So anyway, it's just got like a whole bunch. They're all really, really beautiful. Um, really wanted to show you guys those other tags. But somehow I keep keep going over them because of these darn gloves so um but they are very very cute wherever they are but anyway so yeah so I just thought that that was totally totally my colors and I just absolutely loved it so I had to get that and of course this goes with that as well if I was going to be doing that for scrapbooking so the next thing I'm going to show you guys is this closet organizer which of course has the mint on the corner and I'm not actually going to use this for my bedroom. I am going to use this in my craft room. Because I don't know if you guys have seen yet or not. But I do have a huge closet in my craft room. And so far it's totally empty. So I've got lots of work to do filling it up and organizing it. But I just can't wait. Because it's so awesome to start with an empty space and not be cluttered. Um, so I really wish that this would have been mint with the pink on the edges. And I have a feeling that they did have some like that before um, because there were a few things there that were mint with pink on the edges and I did get a couple of them but like I said they're in the mint haul. 
So um, anyway, I'm just going to use this for craft storage in my craft room. And I thought that would be awesome. And I'm actually, the track is, um, there is no track at the bottom. Like whoever did the flooring in took the track out. So like the doors don't slide properly. So I'm removing the doors. I'm putting up a curtain rod. And I'm just going to have um, a mint or turquoise curtain hanging over the closet. And it's going to be so awesome. Can't wait to do that tour for you guys. So moving along, um, I did get these glitters and they are, they're either a dollar or no, I think these ones are the $3 ones, which means they're probably $2 in the States and all the colors are just gorgeous. Just love them. Um, and then I got another set of these paints and there's such a small amount in these. I just use these for, um, tinting my resin. I don't actually use these for painting things. Um, like void or anything like that or painting. I just use these for tinting my resin because I really like uh, a few of the colors here. It's mainly these three, but I really like the colors. Um, and then I got some gorgeous, adorable um, ribbon. So the ribbon was actually on clearance. There was a few things on clearance in the craft section. So I was so happy because literally I have picked out this ribbon to buy like three different times and then ended up putting it back at the cash when I found it, it was five bucks. So I got the, so these two were $1.25 each and they're regular three something. And this one was two bucks and it's regular four something. So I was so happy about that because I've wanted these ones for so long and they are just so adorable. The polka dot ones are so adorable and then the middle one is so pretty. So I was so, so happy to get those on clearance. Um, so then of course I couldn't go to the craft section without getting some beads. And now you guys, I know you're gonna be like, those are not her colors, but you know what? Like it had been like picked through, like there was nothing there of my colors. And now normally I don't um, go for the acrylic beads at Walmart. I mean, I do like pastel acrylic beads, which I use for my Kawaii and pastel goth projects, but um, normally I don't go for the acrylic beads at Walmart, but I was just so unhappy that there was like no beads there. So I got these just because I barely have any of um, these little things because I was always worried to get them before these um, raspberry beads or disco ball beads, whatever you want to call them. But I actually mainly got this for these beads in between them. See these like swirly ones? I thought those were really pretty and I thought they would look good with black um, bicone crystals. So that's what I'm going to use these for. And these middle beads... Um, basically these middle beads are garbage, so please, if you guys are beginners, do not use these spacers in your necklaces. They will look just so cheap and trashy. Um, so what I'm going to do with those, I would throw them out, but, um, occasionally, you know, my son has friends over or I make stuff for his birthday parties and stuff, so... I would use those on a little girl's necklace, but if I didn't make jewelry for little girls, I would throw those out because those are like the cheapest spacers in the entire world. So guys, please don't use those spacers. But um, anyway, so yeah, I got those. And then like I said, it was like totally picked through. I checked the dollar section. They had this one thing of pink wire. All the other wire was like the ugliest, ugliest colors. Um, so I did get the dollar pink wire. And then I found these two were like the only usable colors in the whole lot. And normally I wouldn't even buy something like this because it's not faceted, but for a dollar. So I got two packs of those and these ones are a little bit of a darker shade. So then I got these weird things. Yeah, I know, they are so totally not Miss Eddie Blue. Um, but I actually have a friend who really likes green and then I actually just recently found um, a YouTuber whose favorite color is green. So I am either going to save these for a St. Patty's Day Chunky Charm or make something for um, the YouTuber who likes green. So I just thought they were neat and I have never seen beads like this. So once again, totally not my color, not something I would normally buy. If this is your first time watching my videos, don't think this is the kind of stuff I get because it's not. But um, I just thought that was really intricate. They're like, the seed beads are like woven and sewn onto the beads. So 
thought that was pretty cool. Never seen those before. So anyway, too bad that they're not pink or blue or mint, right? Like that would be so awesome. So anyway, then I also got these alphabet beads and these are also to go in resin. Um, so you can write little things like kawaii or fairy princess or unicorn lover or unicorn puke, whatever you want, anything you want, you can put it in your resin and sparklies. Okay, and so the next thing I got, and these are the small size alphabet beads. So then I got these and these are the balloon holders and they are for my birthday and they didn't have light pink and they didn't have mint. But then I found this color and it was like hiding and as you can see it has the AB shine. So they like honestly they shine like mint and pink. So I was like oh my gosh they will be perfect for my party and so you see there is some of the stuff for my birthday up there. And everything is going to be mint and pink and a nice candy table and everything. So these are going to hold my balloons. And I've ordered some, like, awesome balloons from eBay, too. Um, so, yeah, I thought those would go just perfectly. So um, last but not least. Oh, wait, actually, what I really wanted to show you guys is I found these awesome. So I wanted to show them to you before we made them. But, of course, my son had to get into them. So, um, these, instead of boiling Easter eggs and, like, having to throw out your child's artwork, basically, because the egg's gonna go stinky and rotten, because, like, our third Easter, I attempted to keep them, and then six months later, like, this weird smell started coming out of our hallway, and it turned out it was the eggs going rotten in the drawer. I swear to God, it took me, like, three months to figure out what the smell is, so I got rid of them. But anyway, so these were called DIY Easter eggs. The ones in these pack were all white, and the ones in this pack were already came pastel colors. Now, these ones came with chalk, and they were called chalkboard eggs, but obviously when you're trying to color them with chalk, the chalk's, like, coming off in your hand, so that didn't work. But it even came with black ones, and you can even buy a set that just comes with 12 black eggs. So I am totally going to go back and get the 12 black eggs, because I didn't realize how cool they would look. My son made this one. And I am going to make some pastel goth Easter eggs. And I just thought that was so awesome. So he made that one, and we made these ones. And see, they're glittery. And then these ones over here, so they already come pastel, and they were just the cutest things, and they were only $1.98, which probably means that in the States, they'd be like $1.29. So yeah, that's so totally awesome. So I just loved those, wanted to share that with you guys. And um, so last but not least, I got a thing of tacky glue, because I never realized that it was cheaper at Walmart than at Michael's. Um, cause my last one only has like maybe this much left in it and it's getting kind of clumpy. I got these dinosaur stickers for my son, which I thought were pretty cute. So he can do some kind of little, uh, um, thingy. I always get him little pages of paper and just want to make a little scene on it. He likes to do that. Starting to like it a little bit less, getting a little old for it, but mommy still likes to try. So then, this was so awesome, guys. So just in case I forget, I did get this um, pink Manic Panic. And if you look at it, it's like almost a lighter color than my glove. So right now my hair is mint and lilac. Um, and it does have some pink at the back too. But I think that I'm going to go for this color next. But I'm going to have to have them bleach it out really, really light for that. So, um, anyway, then I got these Martha Stewart paints. I was so freaking happy. So, these two said that they were on clearance, but it was the only satins were showing up as clearance. And I thought, oh, well, you know, I really like the pearls, and I will just take them up and see. It turned out that all the Martha Stewart paints were on for $1.25. $1.25. They're regularly 5 bucks at Michael's, Okay. So, if I had known that, I would have got, like, three of every color. So, anyway, I ended up getting my favorite colors of the pearls. They did not have the pink, but I got the pearl lavender, the pearl mint, the pearl white, and then I got these satins. One of them's called Beach Glass. This is the Caribbean Blue, and this one, I think, is called Pool or something like that. Yeah, it's Pool. And then, um... 
one of these is one I already had from Michaels, and then one of them uh, I just got from Walmart, and I'm just wondering if they're the same color. Anyway, time to go, ladies, so don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Bye, guys!